the big question really that I hope most people are here today to learn about is how can my business benefit from automation? What is the point and how does it impact my day to day? Uh, one of the key things is that business uh, consumers and customers of businesses are primarily in the digital space these days. And as businesses, we all have usually something beyond uh, piece, uh, pieces of paper that are online. So there's been uh, this figure has gone up and I need to update it. We were talking to the Federation of Small Businesses the other day and there are 5.8 million small businesses that have uh, been financially impacted by the pandemic. So with COVID-19 uh, having impacted businesses, a lot of people who thought my business isn't right for online uh, and automation and uh, kind of doing things in a more digital space have realized that to be able to keep going on and post pandemic, how we're going to need to do things, having online systems like booking systems, chatbots, emails, social media, all of these things are going to start being more important. People aren't going to want print out receipts. They're going to want them emailed to them. So we're facing a point where automation is really critical for a lot of businesses, particularly ones that maybe didn't need uh, a digital space and automation in that respect before. Looking at the figures from uh, different sources, one source cites that 80% of repetitive tasks can be automated. So this can be things from uh, checking the correct temperature in the fridge through to whenever there is a new blog entry from a must read uh, kind of SEO consultant, having that send you a quick tweet. There's all sorts of tasks that can be automated and uh, this follows kind of the 80-20 Pareto principle where 20% um, of customers usually deliver 80% of the value uh, and revenue for your company. And we can think about that with our time as well. Twen like one in five hours we spend in a day is probably the valuable hour. It's the one where we think about what our business should be doing. We think about new ideas. We think about ways to save money. We bring on a new person. All of these things help us build our businesses, but the stuff like reconciling our bank accounts, that, that, that repetitive task doesn't really add much value, but it has to be done for audit purposes. So we can really get rid of a lot of tasks like that, that kind of are essential, but not important. Uh, sorry, are essential, but not interesting. Coming back to our customers, more than half of uh, your customers are using social media daily. The vast majority of people really now actually prefer to complain over social media uh, to a company than phone them or send a complaint via email or via a website. Be, having a digital presence is important because people expect it, but when people have something like five social media accounts on average, you cannot be in all of those places at once. So automation can help you be online, be where your customers expect, be there 24 seven, 
without you having to actually physically go without sleep to be there. So automation is really critical for helping in a digital space and help it be more manageable and help you stay sane through uh, avoiding burnout and excess work. The stats are uh, really interesting, they stack up. So yes, 80% of tasks could potentially be automated, but most people, most employees think that they could easily cut out an hour a day of automated tasks. If you have um, 10 staff, they, if you could save each one of those staff an hour a day, you suddenly have 50 extra hours a week of people's time. That's, that's like one and a half new hires. If you could grow your headcount by that without paying that extra cash and not have to go through the hiring process and get people up to speed, how much more awesome would your business be for that extra time? So it's really important to be thinking about automation for helping you make your staff have an outsized benefit relative to their number of hours. And also yourself as a business leader. Uh, the study and the, the green speech mark, when you get these slides, the green speech marks are clickable so you can go and read the report. A lot of business leaders have worked out that they could save nine weeks, nine work weeks of time every year from automation. That could mean a ho uh, more holidays, more business growth opportunities, uh, or stronger cover for your employees. So automation gives you a lot of free time. And when it's, do when it's doing the right thing correctly, it can really reduce error. So it can help improve quality and improving quality, say, cuts out rework time as well. We can use this to make new experiences for our customers. So before uh, I set up Nightingale with Roof, we, um, I run my own consultancy. Uh, and I hate that admin work. So one of the things that I've done to make it easy for customers is have an online booking solution where it's plugged into my calendar. So only slots that I have the time for can be booked. So I never double book and people can actually pay for the pay for the service in advance. And we'll look a little bit later on at the uh, automation behind that, but we make an easy booking experience, automated payment, and also then go on to send them their customized contract digitally so that they can sign it to make sure that intellectual property, GDPR, and all of those things are covered. So we can give customers an uh, a great experience and dramatically cut down on internal time to deliver that. We can also use automation uh, to help us be more nimble and find information online that otherwise we would have to spend a lot of time looking for. Uh, so Roof uh, is responsible for a lot more of the kind of the business side and helping us grow as an organization. And PR is a key part of that for us. We're always on the lookout for how we can help journalists and people uh, discuss AI in terms of getting ready for it and it being a people problem. So we use automation to find the relevant requests uh, for contributions online without Roof having to monitor them all. And we send Roof an email with the journalists details, associated websites and stuff, so that as soon as a journalist has requested uh, 
a response, Ruth can be getting that email and working out whether it's worth our time to get in touch. So we can really uh, help blend systems together, but also use systems to get an advantage that uh, manual labor simply can't achieve. An interesting concept um, that's emerging in the workplace at the moment is what's called human plus. So it is about helping your people do more using technology. More than uh, almost half of business leaders think that most of this staff are going to have to be more technologically savvy in the next few years for their business to continue growing. What, with, um, post pandemic, businesses that have traditionally been very people intensive and not very manual uh, and very manual uh, things like service industry. When we're talking about digital bookings uh, and ordering systems, con uh, more smooth contactless payment methods, uh, being able to send receipts and digital reminders and contact and work with people on Instagram and all sorts of different things now. You, there's going to be a big skills adoption that's needed to be able to handle that. That new skill adoption and challenge is actually uh, ranked second below pay for a key motivation for millennial employees. So I'm a millennial. Millennial doesn't apply to like under 25s. It's not a new word for youngins. Um, but people like to test themselves and grow and be prepared. So being an organization that is adopting new technology can help you retain staff and be more attractive to new hires. And the automation also is really valuable because now the average employee only lasts at a company for less than four years. For knowledge workers and technical staff, that drops quite significantly down to about two or three years. So you spend a lot of time investing in staff, skilling them up, building a lot of domain knowledge, uh, getting them doing processes very manually and then they leave, you lose a lot of institutional knowledge about how your business works. Encouraging people to automate helps your business be more resilient to people leaving. It also means that new people have to spend less time learning lots of little processes and they can start sooner adding the value in the important areas. So it's worth thinking about over the next few years is how technology can make your business more attractive to new staff, how it can be uh, useful for keeping up with demands and can help you be a more resilient business.